colour and thickness. In design mode, it is easy to depict certain features of our piping system by changing the colour or thickness of the pipes. The top of tank example system is a good example of how this design technique can be used. The top of tank system is an example of recirculatory system. Pipeflow expert models the static solution of the system assuming that the system is running and all the pipes are full. Looking in greater detail, the water in the larger pipes exiting the tank have been heated by a hot cylinder and then distributed through smaller pipes to various radiator sites where after the water has been cooled and returned back to the tank. For this model, let's use the pipe design options in the pipe pane. We can depict different pipe diameter size with different line thicknesses and use pipe colour to show where the fluid runs hot and where it runs cold. You can change the appearance of pipes individually by highlighting it and choosing the line colour and thickness in the drop down menu. To save time and effort, let's complete the design by using group updates. If you're unsure how to use group updates, there is a quick tip video that you can look at to find out more information about that. Going ahead with group updates, let's finish the system. Use the individual pipe selection tool to highlight each group to update. First the narrow pipes with the hot fluid. Then the narrow pipes with the cooled fluid. And finally, the larger pipes carrying the cool fluid. Note that the design feature in Pipeflow Expert does not affect any numerical data associated with the pipes and any changes in diameter will have to be manually updated. This is our resulting design. If we calculate the system, the results colours as default show using the gradient. To use the design colours, simply select this in the results colours and then click OK. Download your free trial of Pipeflow Expert today at www.pipeflow.com.